we've got to do stuff right now. Hopefully I can get it done in the next couple days because it's supposed to start raining. So I'm about to drill my first hole. When I say drill my first hole, I mean void my warranty on my brand new rig. I was really hoping that this would be a much quicker process the second go around but it doesn't seem like it's turning out that way. I was doing the solar panels and it started raining and now it's helping. We aren't, we aren't a channel of how-tos. We're just a channel of this is how we did it. Maybe you learn from that and do it differently. Last week you saw that we traded in our old fifth wheel for a brand new one, but now we're facing the massive challenge of transferring our huge solar system onto a roof that is three feet shorter. We just got settled into our hip camp here in Colorado Springs and we pick up the Brinkley tomorrow. However, all of our solar panels are still obviously on the roof and we've got to take them off because our goal is to fit as many of those solar panels onto the Brinkley as possible. Craig's already unattached the rest of the system, like all the charge controllers and inverter and reverted this RV back to the stock electrical system. So we've got a lot of work ahead of us and we're trying to do everything when it's not raining, obviously. So we've got to do stuff right now. Craig's already getting started. We used the Unistruts when in installing the panels for this exact reason, because it's made it so easy to take the panels off without leaving any holes in the roof because we're just gonna leave the Unistruts up there in place. They're still attached. Somebody can put panels on them if they want to, but we got to take our panels with us. So we just got back, finally got our RV, super excited, and we're still figuring out all the new little bells and whistles that come with a new RV, and which are more than I would have thought, which is, so that's, it's, it's fine. Um, but now we have to get on the roof and figure out where we're gonna put our solar, because there's a lot more roof penetrations on this one. I think we're gonna have to raise some up, probably, and uh, yeah, it should be fine. <laughs> I thought that was your phone for a second. At least it wasn't that. <laughs> okay. I don't really like these ladders. Uh-uh. I feel like you're just not really that sturdy. But... Oh no, spider. Okay. And we're off to Home Depot. I think we think we're going to be able to possibly fit all of our panels and if not only going to be missing two 100 watt panels so we might only have to downgrade by 200 watts which would be ideal. Yeah yeah that'll work. Yeah and maybe a little side trip adventure to Home Goods because I want to get some decor. All right so I'm getting ready to set up our solar on the roof and I think I got it mapped out how I want the solar panels to go and how we're going to install them without putting too many holes in the roof. Let's show you what I'm thinking and hopefully it'll work. I'm going to do a similar setup as I did on the last one and that seemed to work fine. So this is one of our big panels. We have four of them. I think this is the front of the RV here. I think we can have one lay here and what we will do going to have the unit strut. I'm going to have to probably put a couple slits in it so it will bend and kind of lay a little bit more flat to the roof um, just so it gets a little bit better connection to the roof when I screw it down. But we'll have unit strut there. Again this is the front of the RV. Unit strut there and then another piece over there and then the big panel will lay long ways so perpendicular to the unit strut and uh, attach there. We'll have one here at the front, then one right here next to like the bathroom skylight and fan and stuff. One here, one here. That was all four. So I think it should work. And then we'll just fill in the open spaces around the rest of the RV with the smaller panels. 
but that's what I'm working on today. Hopefully I can get it done in the next couple days because it's supposed to start raining, um, I think in a couple days, maybe late tomorrow. While Craig is outside working on all the solar stuff, I'm gonna do a little bit of work on inside because it's a wreck in here. We need to get all this stuff out of the boxes and into the cabinets and actually be able to find stuff because right now we're like, where's this, where's that? You know how it goes. I'm putting this liner in all the drawers so hopefully it'll stay looking new longer. to drill my first hole. When I say drill my first hole, I mean void my warranty on my brand new rig, the brand new RV. Well, well no wreck. Hopefully it works out. I was really hoping that this would be a much quicker process the second go around, but it doesn't seem like it's turning out that way. And I don't really know why. I think it's just because it's really a puzzle up there. Yeah, they don't fit like the other ones. Mm, it's a little, this roof is smaller, so we're just having to really like finagle everything. It also curves a lot more. Yes, so it's uh, it's been a struggle. And this thing doesn't cut so well. Well, not when you're trying to cut whatever this 12 gauge unistrut is. So, ooh, hopefully we'll get it. So, we're installing some of the panels today. Um, have to take off all these little brackets I made for the first RV we installed this all on and figure out where I need to mount them on the panels now since we're nothing's laid out the same and uh, mount them to the panels so I can mount the panels to the roof which is taking forever <laughs> of doing this. Hate it. It's worse. I don't know how people install this for a living. It's absolutely awful. She just looks like a shadow. Because I'm so tan. Yeah.
It's the third day of Craig working on the panels on the roof and he's thinking he might be able to finish up today. I have not been able to be much help because it's the work week and with the time I took off to buy the RV, I'm already behind. So I've been having to work a lot and catch up and poor Craig's been up here mostly by himself. Away. Do you think we're gonna get it done today? I hope, at least the panel's on. Yeah. If not, we might have like just a couple we gotta finish up tomorrow morning, but I think we should get it done. We're supposed to leave this spot on Saturday and we really need all the panels attached to the roof before we leave. We can do the wiring and everything somewhere else, but the panels need to be attached. Not to mention we still gotta pick up all our stuff and organize it underneath. Yeah. We still got a bunch of stuff down there. But I am not concerned about it fitting in the Brinkley. I think it's gonna fit perfectly fine because we have that extra storage spot um, in the back. I'll have to show you guys that later. Well, I was doing the solar panels and it started raining and now it's helping. So I'm not doing the panels anymore. <laughs> I got one more day. One more day. I hope we can get it done. I think you you said we're almost done, right? Yeah, like four more panels. So I was just watching some videos on the Brinkley's owner's hub um, on their website and found out that they ran, there's a vent, it looks like a vent on top of the roof and underneath it is just a uh, inch and a half conduit pipe for you to run wires through if you add any roof accessories. So now I'm about to go look at that and see if I can just run all my wires through that instead of trying to figure out a way to run them through the hole that they made for their solar wires. It's right here. Open it up. You can't, you need a screwdriver. No. Oh. I thought that was a vent pipe this whole time. Yeah, I did too. I don't know what it would have been. No, bending. are you sure it's not this one? I'm pretty sure it's this one because it's all the way in the corner of the pantry going down by the exterior wall. We're supposed to be leaving this spot tomorrow and we're getting close to being done up here, I think. And if you can't tell, it's a little cold here. I'm sick of this. <laughs> My nose is running, it's freezing. I don't know what's going on. It's too cold. What do you got left? I gotta put this panel down and mount it. I gotta retighten this one down, flip that one over and put it down, and then wiring, and that's it. So I'm drilling holes in the, the panel, where the brackets will attach to the panel, and it will line up with these the Unistrut. After, uh, after that's done, the way they actually attached to the Unistrut themselves is these little guys and they're really nice because you can uh, put them in and they slide and once you tighten up it cinches down onto the, the lip of this Unistrut and then it won't slide anymore. Also what's nice about it like with all the sealant here I wouldn't be able to slide it past but with these, you can fit them in and spin it wherever you need it. And then, you know, kind of, you can wiggle it around and line it up right. So it's super nice, it makes it easy. It also gives you the, the room to adjust some panels um, a little bit if you need to. These ones are getting ready to be installed. The brackets all line up. I've got the little thing there. The screw goes down on it. Yep. These brackets, you can't buy these. No, <laughs> this was a lot of uh, labor. The last time we did our solar install, Craig cut these himself. Oops, oh no. Oh my gosh. Cut these himself and drilled the holes in them, so. And no, I did not clean the edges. They're still pretty sharp. However, these do not touch the roof. They sit on here and get squished in between here. So it'll go over that and then the panel will sit in that hole. I'm also putting Loctite on these 
which screws into a nut that also is a Loctite nut. So hopefully they won't wiggle loose. If they do, it won't be great. <laughs> the other thing we're trying to figure out, um, I know we showed you that Brinkley has put conduit on the roof so you can easily run your wires down, which is fantastic, but you can't just run your wires down and leave <laughs> a hole in the roof for water to get in. So since we're gonna have uh, three sets of wires, six total wires. We needed something that all the wires could go in and keep everything waterproof. So Craig picked up this box. We're gonna have to drill out a hole here that will just fit over this entire thing. Obviously we'll seal up all of the edges and then drill little holes in the sides that these cable glands screw onto that are waterproof, uh, waterproof things that the cables run through. So I think this is gonna work. Um, yeah, that should be good. At least we don't have to drill any really big holes in the roof because they already did that for us with this conduit. So I'm about to install the last panel. I have to install this one and then all of them will pretty much be attached. I got a couple I gotta go put bolts in. And that's it. And run wire. And then go get warm. And it's gonna be great. I know you all always talk about how positive we are, and for the most part we are, but uh, not Craig's favorite project here. <laughs> well, we got a new RV. Yes, good. Oh, God. The slides are work. Too cold to be when you hit them. <laughs> how you feel about the slides, though? They're great. Ain't had an issue yet. 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 <laughs> Yo, we got that. What you doing? Trying to get the sticker. <laughs> Alright, where's the uh You now you need the little paddle bits yeah. to make little half inch circles. What'd we do with them? I did it pretty okay. quick. <laughs> Let's make sure that it fits before you drill the other one. Yeah. These are the cable glands I was talking about. They can twist to get the little rubber part smaller so that it you can get a waterproof tight fit on the cables. Nice. It's like perfect. perfect. Ah, that's good. And it's and the um, cable glands are above it, so they'll be able to go in it. Real nice. I'm not doing screws though. I'm gonna do self-leveling on the inside and then I'll do uh, regular on the outside. I guess we want it to face something like that, huh? Yeah, I guess it can be like that. Uh, nice. All squished out. Yep. Perfect. That's great. Boy, it's worked out better than I thought it would. We realized we forgot to test and make sure that that pipe was in fact the right pipe. We think it is, but Craig just dropped a screw down there to make sure he can find it. Let's well, see. Ta-da! Okay, it's the right one. This has not been ideal weather for installing a solar system on the roof of an RV, but we're almost done. We're almost there. I'm working on reorganizing all of the under storage stuff. So let me show you what I got going on down there because everything's a little different. We still have a lot of stuff to put in the storage area. So I can't figure out whether I think there's more or less storage on the Brinkley. The thing is, is on our other RV, 
we had a back storage rack, which we didn't want to keep anyways. We've been wanting to get rid of it, but didn't have a place to put all the things, which is why we cleaned everything out and got rid of a lot of stuff. The Brinkley, however, does have this cool thing, this storage back here. And I was able to fit our paddle boards and our Christmas tree and a few other things back here. But there's still a lot of stuff that has to go in the front storage. So, I don't know. This tote is the one that was on the back rack of our old RV. But I like got, we got rid of a lot of stuff and combined a lot of stuff. So now it's full, but I think I want to just slide it in the storage area. Um, I even put the shop back in. Here. So it's not ideal though, because it's very heavy and I can't lift it by myself. So Craig's gonna have to help me lift it. So I think we're gonna probably switch to a smaller storage thing, like maybe two small storage bins that are easier to move around eventually. I don't know, but we don't have time to get that right now. We had a lot of stuff sitting outside this week, so a lot of stuff got rained on and dirty. It probably wasn't the best way to do it. We aren't, we aren't a channel of how-tos. We're just a channel of this is how we did it. Maybe you learn from that and do it differently. <laughs> why we didn't want to have a back rack. Well, we do have a back rack, but it's for the bikes now. We don't want a back rack for our junk. Much cooler stuff on our back rack now. So the handlebars keep hitting the window though. I don't like that. Figure it out. You just fold the handlebars over on top of the other one when it's up, right? Up, up there. Nice, okay. I think this is gonna ride good. We gotta get a cover for it. Yeah. Oh, this weather. Ooh, don't get me with your dirty hands. We get to take back some of the supplies to Home Depot, so I think we should get back over 100 bucks. Mm. Possibly like 150. Be so nice. Take the truck to a car wash. We were at a new spot. It was just raining and now it's sunny. <laughs> so I don't know what the weather's doing, but we got to finish hooking up the wires for the solar system. So we're going to see if we can get that done in between rain and hailstorms, I guess. But first we got to take out all of this. So I got to move this panel so I can get access behind this wall to run all our wires through and to the front where our charge controllers will be. We got the wire fished out. Now Craig is threading it up above so we can run it along the roof of our storage area and to the front. Whew, this cable gets more tangled than any other type of cable we've ever worked with. I wish it would have been a little bit further over from the side. I don't like being able to see it yeah. from down there. It's not so pretty. Now it is time for the fun part. Wiring up all the wires. And this is where my brain just kind of turns off. And I'm glad Craig knows what he's doing. Craig. Well, we hope I do. <laughs> we hope he does. It worked last time, so we should be able it's to do it again. Right, I guess. Yeah. Right. And we're leaving the rest for tomorrow because the sun is going down and the next phase will mean we won't have battery power. Although we do have shore power. Hey. Anyways, we're leaving the rest till tomorrow. Hey. 
Today is gonna be the day. I just know it. We're gonna finish the solar system today. There ain't no way. Why? All this wire and we're gonna do. We're gonna, he's, he's, he's got it. Craig's got it. If you think Craig's got it, give us a thumbs up. You wasted that thumbs up. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be today. I just know it. We're trying to get, we're going to install the inverter here. Hopefully we can get that wired up. After I get the inverter wired up, that's the big part. And then I can kind of fit everything else that I need to fit, which would be charge controllers, the distribution box, uh, servo, battery monitor, all of it, a lot of it, too much. He's got this. <laughs> all these noises are making. This sucker's so heavy. think so i mean it's it's there but it's also sitting on all this stuff i'm gonna have to move them while i run all the wires but afterwards it'll be fine because all the wires will tighten actually when you take that case off it might be fine because wires are more towards the back not the front yeah back it's not on it yet i don't think it's just sitting on it Put more screws in it uh, down somewhere. There's like a spot to put some. Things are moving along. I had to go get more layers on. The wind came in. The rain mostly missed us, but now. Now it's freezing cold wind. Craig's making progress over here. I'm trying. Ooh, my. Man. A part of the uh, problem, or not really a problem, but a part of the thing that's taking so long, it was trying to figure out how they had everything wired up um, because they already had like an inverter prep in and so they had like prepared it for an inverter but our multiplus is an inverter converter. And anyway, so we just had to figure all of that out. And by we, I mean Craig. Huh. Yeah. So we got everything hooked up, everything's working. Now all I gotta do is clean up all this wire and make it look a little bit better, hopefully. It has been a pain though, oh my gosh. But we're there. It's gonna look Look at this already, looking so good with this cover stuff on it. Now all of that. Yeah. In the midst of this solar install, we've also been experiencing our first real trip in the Brinkley to a fantastic campground right near the Great Sand Dunes National Park. It's free, it has electric hookups, and you're gonna wanna see more of it, but we've saved all of that for you guys for another video next week because otherwise it would have been way too long. So if you enjoyed this week's video, give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments if you're enjoying seeing our experiences in our new rig and what it's like and we'll keep it coming for you. See you guys next week.